Hello everyone, I'm Hamblin County Mayor Bill Britton. I want to take a few minutes to talk about my decision regarding whether or not to issue a mandate requiring everyone wear a mask in public spaces in Hamblin County. It may take a few minutes, so please be patient and listen to the entire message. Last week, Governor Bill Lee delegated to 89 county mayors the authority and decision whether or not to issue a requirement that residents and visitors of their counties wear masks or facial coverings to combat the spread of the coronavirus. Mandating that citizens wear a mask is an emotional issue. There are those who think it's government overstepping its authority if it mandates masks. And there are others who think it is the role of government to help protect its citizens from the pandemic by issuing the mask mandate. I've heard from dozens of citizens who have expressed their opinions and there is not a consensus. In Hamblin County, we have experienced a rapid increase in positive test results over the past few weeks. The Tennessee Department of Health considers Hamblin County a hot spot in East Tennessee. Some of those individuals who test positive have symptoms and some do not. The numbers of hospitalizations are more than 10, but overall we have avoided a large number of serious cases. So how do we slow the spread of the virus and keep our regional hospital from being overwhelmed with virus cases? Mandating everyone to wear a mask in public places is one option, but is it practical? It would be impossible to enforce because many of us will not follow the order. We see that now with many people ignoring the laws regulating seatbelt use, texting and driving, and cell phone use while driving. As county mayor, I will not issue an order that requires the use of masks or facial coverings in public places, but I strongly encourage that we have a change of heart and attitude about protecting each other from the virus. We all need to take care of each other by practicing social distancing, by washing our hands frequently, and by wearing masks when we go shopping or to other public places, especially smaller confined spaces. We can protect our senior adults who are most vulnerable by wearing masks around them. I'm asking you to be smart and to wear your mask when you go places where you might infect others if you have the virus and you just don't know it. We don't need to wear a mask everywhere we go, but there are certain places that we should wear them. Even without a mask mandate, there are ways we can influence others to wear a mask and follow the public health guidelines. One of the most impactful can be spending our money with retailers and shops who follow the recommendations because they care about our health. I have noticed how the drive through lanes at several fast food restaurants have stopped using masks and gloves. Some restaurants are following the voluntary rules outlined in the Governor's Tennessee Pledge such as operating at 50 or 75 percent capacity, while others don't. Some barbers and hairdressers are following the guidelines for their industry, and some don't. Some gyms and workout facilities promote social distancing and sanitize the equipment, and some don't. I strongly urge you to spend your money with businesses that want to keep you safe. We also need to promote shops and restaurants and businesses and industry who show us that they care about our health. We have created an email address for you to share stories or examples of how a business you used show that they care about your health. It could be a restaurant, a small retailer, an employee at a larger retailer, a barber or a hair salon, a manufacturer, an insurance office, or a health care provider. Send us the story to Hamblin County Cares at co.hamblin.tn.us. I hope you will join the fight against the pandemic that has changed the way we live. I can't stress enough that all of us have to do our part to win this battle. Thanks for listening.